Welcome back to the Can-Am Garage, guys. Uh, two coats of clear later and a little time with a, what, 3200, well-worn 3200 grit polishing pad. And the MX-5 is thoroughly polished with a polishing pad. And because somebody wasn't paying attention, I ended up uh, starting with the Scratch X right before I, before I finished polishing the body with a polishing pad. And you can see just how nice that comes back to. I mean, I'm trying to, it's not a great, it's not a great, we're trying to get in the reflection. Yeah, you can see the Tamaya logo in the reflection. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I know it's nice. It's, it's at least as nice as I think it is. And that's what matters to me. Um, in other news, the uh, NSX, mm, sorry, we'll move you around quickly, take you over, it's just sitting over there. It definitely needs another coat of clear, no doubt about it. Unfortunately, we're having a bit of a heat and humidity craze here in uh, the Canadian Maritimes, so right now, not happening, <laughs> really not happening. If anything, the 71 Dodge Demon Sizzler will get worked on next. But even then, there's not much that I can do because according to Jeff Corey, I should, not Jeff Corey, Jeff Johnston, I should swap in the chassis from a 71 Duster. I have two or three of them in my stash. But again, in this heat and humidity going into that and to my Secan for the stash, no, that's not happening either. It will happen. There's lots of interesting projects in there that need to come out so I can play with them, like a certain 70 Buick GSX. Isn't that right, Len Geisler? But for the moment, we'll concentrate on the Mazda. It's looking good. That's just after one little partial polish with the Scratch X. Oh, there you go. Now we're getting a decent reflection off the hood. I'm trying to figure out what that is that it's seeing. But regardless, definitely nice finish, definitely coming somewhere. Alrighty, guys, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you here next time at the Can-Am Garage.